Hello viewers, welcome to Texta Diesel. In this video, we will see why a transformer rated in kVA, not in kilowatt. Now, here are the three reasons why a transformer rated in kVA or MVA. As you can see, this is a transformer. This is a primary winding and this is a secondary winding. And we have supplied the input voltage at the primary and we are going to connect the load at the secondary. Now in AC circuit there are three types of power active power, reactive power and apparent power. Active power is consumed by the resistive load, reactive power consumed by the inductive or capacitive load and apparent power is a combination of active power and reactive power as you can see from the power triangle. Now when we design a transformer we don't have any idea what type of load we are going to connect at the secondary. So we don't know the type of load. The load may be resistive, may be inductive, may be capacitive or may be combination of these three. So as we have discussed earlier, the resistive load will consume the active power. So if I connect a purely resistive load at the secondary, it will consume only active power. And if I connect a purely inductive or purely capacitive load, it will consume only reactive power at the secondary. But in practical, there are no such load which is purely resistive, purely inductive. When supplying any electrical circuit or any load, we have to supply both active and reactive power. So we have to supply the apparent power, which unit is VA, voltage ampere. So as we give supply through a transformer, transformer has to supply both active and reactive power to load as the unit of the apparent power is VA voltage ampere so the transformer rated in KVA or VA or if the rating is much higher then it's MVA the next reason is the losses occur in the transformer if there is a resistive and inductive load at the secondary then there are two type of loss occur in the transformer one is core loss and next is copper loss the core loss or the iron loss is depend on the voltage of the transformer and the magnetic property of the core material as the magnetic property of a core material is constant for a transformer so the core loss or iron loss depend on the voltage and during operation the input and output voltage for a transformer remain constant so core loss is a constant loss of a transformer next loss is copper loss so copper loss is equal to i square r here r is the resistance of the winding and i is current flowing through that winding so as we have no idea about the load so current may vary according to the load if the resistance of the load vary the current vary so i is a variable but the resistance of the winding is constant so it depend on the current flowing through the transformer winding the copper loss is variable loss as the current may vary during operation so we have seen two type of loss core loss and copper loss core loss is depend on the voltage of the transformer as the magnetic property of a transformer core is constant and copper loss is depend on the current flowing through the winding as the I square R here resistance is constant for a winding. So we have seen the losses occur in the transformer depend on both voltage and ampere only. So we have rated the transformer in VA and if the rating of the transformer is higher then we have rated in KVA or MVA. Now these are the reason why we rated a transformer in kVA, mVA or VA not in kilowatt. If I conclude the answer first we have no idea about the type of load during design of a transformer the load may be resistive inductive capacitive on design perspective we cannot assume the power factor of the load as we don't know the load so we are rated the transformer as voltage ampere VA and while supplying any electrical circuit we have to supply both active and reactive power apparent power is a combination of both active and reactive power and its unit is va 
so we rated the transformer in VA and the losses occur in the transformer are core loss and the copper loss core loss depend on the voltage as the magnetic property of the transformer is constant and copper loss depend on the current flowing through the winding of a transformer as the resistance of the winding is constant on that loss perspective we can also see the loss is depend on voltage and ampere so we have rated the transformer in VA which is voltage ampere and if the rating is higher for a transformer we use kilovolt ampere kva or megavolt ampere mva so while giving rating to an electrical machine if it is consumed the electrical power like motor solenoid then we know the power factor that's why we have given the rating in kilowatt of that particular electrical machine but for alternator transformer the alternator produced the electrical power and we don't know the what type of load going to consume that electrical power so we don't know the power factor same for the transformer it transmit the electrical power from one AC circuit to another AC circuit by changing the voltage level so again we don't know the type of load at the output of a transformer and the power factor of the load of the transformer so we rated both alternator and transformer as kva not in kilowatt as we have no idea about the power factor i hope you have understood why we rated a transformer or alternator in kva not in kilowatt and if you find this video helpful please give a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends please do subscribe our channel for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day